About a year ago, we first told you about the 50-year water plan for the state of Kansas. And now the state is a year into that plan. My co-anchor Katya Light joins us now live to see uh, where the state is on that and how the plan's going. Katya. Good morning. As you can see, I'm here at the Kansas River, or better, I'm in the Kansas River. And Jared, as you said, the 50-year water plan for the state of Kansas has made its full one-year report this past fall. And it being a year in, the goal is for the water plan is to make sure that the state has a full amount of water for multi-year droughts and to be prepared when the water is needed. We spoke with the director of Kansas Water who tells us that they've been starting dozens of projects and are continuing to study for more information of the best way to keep water available. But it's not only about having water, but being sure that the water that we get is quality. What we really would want to invest in and, and really what we see happening widespread across the eastern part of the state is watershed protection. And what that means is water quality. That's keeping sediment, that's keeping nutrients, and whatever runs off, off in the drainage area above the lake. If we can keep as much of that material where it lies and not in the lake, our water quality is going to be better, our storage is going to be more reliable. Now, even with all the rain that we've been seeing, it has helped with the drought issues. But officials say it's this time where they need to plan for the next drought and working on improving their storage for other issues for when the multi-drought years come again. Live here at the Kansas River, Katia Like, KSNT News. Thank you, Katya. Officials tell KSNT News that next week the dredging commencement ceremony at the John Redmond Reservoir, which is the cornerstone of the Reservoir Sustainability Plan.